y'all are sitting home, I am hoping that the audio has started to be able to hear me. I hope everybody has had a happy, blessed, healthy couple of days since I saw you in Monday's haul. I have so many great things to show you that I am just going to just hippity hop right on into it and get started. I found these L'Oreal products that go for about $7.99 in an, I, let's just say Walmart because that is one of the places that I look at. $7.99 for dry shampoo for L'Oreal brand. This is long wear dry shampoo and it is a 3.4 ounce can right here and I picked up three of them and so that is what it looks like and I love when they get great hair products name brand stuff that sells for way more than a dollar and I find it I scoop it right up I give plenty of beauty products hair products and things like that to my mom and my son will definitely use this one right here this is a different one this is the new air dry it roughed body mousse and it's an 8.3 ounce can and I am excited my son has really good hair to be able to like mousse and gel up and stuff and so he uses a good deal of product in his hair when he's doing it and this is a really good can there's a lot of product in here and he is going to be excited I grabbed three of these as well and I did look up the price pertaining to it being sold at a Walmart and this can usually goes for around $7.99 also and that's it right there. So I don't know if they're going to have more than just those two options, but I'll take that for sure. I'm excited that they came out with that at the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to keep my eyes peeled. And once I give my mother the dry shampoo and she lets me know how she likes it, I'll either get more in the days to come or just leave her with the three that I picked up so far. And then I picked up these cute little barrettes right here for the side of... This is really cute to like sweep up the side of your hair, put these little embellishments in your hair. I love the circle with the pearls and the and the star with the pearls as well. They did have a couple of other options, but those are the ones that I fancied. So those are the ones that I grabbed and I think that they're so pretty, so delicate looking and dainty and totally, totally cute. And then I found some more material, which I've been still picking up material when I find really cute stuff because you can use material for so many different reasons. You can decorate with it. You can, you know, make some type of like a pillowcase from it. You can make masks, obviously, if we're going to continue on with mask wearing through the years. And, you know, and then I was making Mickey Mouse ears with the material that I was finding at the Dollar Tree as well. And I found these really, really pretty ones. These are the Crafters Square right here. And these are so pretty with the butterflies and the little bumblebees on there. And it has a cute like checkered background to it. So I grabbed that one. And then I grabbed this one that has the little slots all over it. And I just love the slots. So that one was really really cute so I picked that one up and then this one's a little late for Easter but I'll save it for next year and maybe make myself some Mickey Mouse ears with the bunny theme to it to wear to the parks um, once we start going back on vacation to Disney and this is a cute like little light blue background with the little Easter bunnies. Oh, I throw it. I threw it. My signature move throwing, throwing things during my videos. Um, and the little bunny with the blue glasses on looks like me. So I grabbed that and I love their, that, and that's a decent size to the material. Um, let's see if it says this. it's a 20 by 21 inch piece of fabric. So that's really good and it does provide a decent amount to be able to do lots of different things with that one piece that they're offering you for a dollar. Then I got some um, of these tabs right here and this is the one pound hold and this is removable hooks. 
I do need this because I'm going to build like a little garden area with all of those decoration pieces that I grabbed that had all of the cute little gardening embellishments on them and I needed a pack of these to be able to hang those on the wall behind a like a plant tower that I'm going to create with some of the things that I've been finding from the Dollar Tree. So I have this five, uh, I, I would say it was, it's about a five tier like shelving thing that I'm going to put all kinds of different little faux flowers. I'm just going to stick with the faux, faux flowers for this year other than my mammoth um, sunflowers that I'm planting in the front of my house and I'm doing all faux flower arrangements everywhere else because it's a little less upkeep for this year. And I just grabbed some of these cute little options that the Dollar Tree had to put on the shelving that I'm going to create and um, and dress up that, that tier tr uh, rack that I found. So I grabbed this one right here and this is a decent weighted little, uh, it's not even a pot or anything like that. It's just like a little weight and then it's covered up with this paper, but I like the flowers and I can kind of fluff them out and make them look better than they look right here. So I just wanted to grab a bunch of smaller options to put on these shelves and then situate the signs all behind it and make like a whole little garden center looking themed area out in my back deck. So this little potted plant here is the lavender faux flowers. I love that it has like the three little sprigs up there and the terracotta pot it's already situated in. So I just grabbed that and I think that that is just like dainty and cute and really really sweet looking. I grabbed two of them actually. So I grabbed those and I love them. And I had already grabbed three like a couple of months ago to put in my room to add like a little spring looking area to my room on a shelf. So I liked those and I picked up some more for this new little area that I'm making. Then I grabbed these little plastic. These are like a good thick plastic succulents. And I grabbed these because the colors were pretty and vibrant and they came in these little plastic little terracotta looking uh, square pots. So I grabbed each of those to put on the tier uh, shelving situation that I got. And then I'm just going to kind of stagger it down the whole entire section of each tier and dress it up with the signs all behind it and pull it all together. So I think that will be really cute. And then I grabbed this three piece from the Crafter Square brand. This is Pop Dot Tape. I've heard really, really great reviews about it. And I'm going to use this double sided dot tape to put on the bottom of these plants to stick down to the shelf because it will be outside. So I don't want them to be blowing around or anything like that or blowing off the shelves and constantly having to pick them up. So I'm going to use these dots to put on the bottom to adhere them to each shelf that I put them on. I will let you know if it does the trick and it, and it sticks down and stays down while they're outside. I also grabbed some more of these succulent stems here and I had purchased quite a few of these over the months and I've crafted and created with every single one that I used but I found these with these cute little new buds on them and I love 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 these little stems right here this is they're just calling them greenery and I just think that they're so pretty. They have like a little frosted look to them. The little buds are really realistic looking. I love the mixture of the greenery and those little buds together. They're just these cute little two stems that I purchased. And I've used them in the little potted, uh, the little pots that I've purchased from the Dollar Tree, the little animal pots I put them in the back of. And they came out really cute. I've used these kind in the tear tray that I created on the surface. And if you watch my last thing that I posted, which was a review of the Bolero wipes that I hauled in the haul on Monday, I included a picture of the tear tray with all the succulents 
positioned on it that I created a couple of weeks ago and it, it came out so magical looking. I absolutely, absolutely enjoyed doing it and it came out so pretty and I just love it so much. And then I grabbed these two different succulents right here. These are also called greenery, but they have the little succulent type of little buds on it and the um, really, really pretty 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 frosted looking realistic looking stems on it with all the green leaves and things and so I grabbed those two right here and these have definitely been like such a great 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 thing to embellish and put into all of my little crafting projects that I've done over the months and my floral arrangements and my little tear tray set up. I've really enjoyed working with that that option that they came out with at the Dollar Tree. So I am excited to have found that and continue to find that. And those are a couple of new ones that I've never be seen before. And then I got another wall cling here. And these are all really, really beautiful succulents on it. And they're just the stickers for the walls and I have a really um, decent sized craft room in the back that I'm trying to put together. I haven't quite put all my pictures up or anything. So I just thought that I would get another sticker to be able to put up on the wall and see where I can position this. I love all of the succulents on both sides. They are really, really pretty. So maybe I could put up like a really pretty frame and then, you know, embellish around the frame with the succulents on the wall. And I just think that they're beautiful. The colors in them really pop to me, that pastel look. I love it. I love it. Let me see what we have here. I have stuff like all around me. I picked up these socks right here. And I love these for the 4th of July. Like they're just so fun looking. I love the little dog on them. And this front one here with the stripes and the polka dots in his shirt. And then in the back it has a second pair with just the red and white polka dots. With the blue tip to the toe and the heel. And I think that that is just a really, really, really cute package of socks for one dollar and it comes with the two pairs so I had to pick those up because I thought they were so so cute now I also showed you that my husband has been making me puzzles and framing them from the Dollar Tree the frames are from the Dollar Tree also the puzzles are from the Dollar Tree and I have picked up quite a few more for him to make and these are the ones that I grabbed I grabbed the cow right here with the sunflowers. I think that they are coming out so amazing in the frame. They're looking really put together. They're going to make such a great addition to one of my walls. Hold on. Let me say hi to my son. Hi. How was your day? I love you. Go right in the shower. Love you. I'll be done with this in like 15 minutes. Um, and then the cow right here with the sunflowers. I, I can't wait until that gets in a frame. That's so cute. And then right here is the, I think it's an alpaca. I think that's what you would call that, but, or I guess it's a llama actually. Llama, alpaca, you know, one of those, but that's just really soft and pretty. And look at his, the eyes just draw you in in that really pretty fuchsia background that is just like such a pretty little picture a little face to look at when you're crafting and just you know enjoying your day and you're looking at your artwork all around your house and everything that your loved ones made by their hands as I told you in the last haul I have all of our artwork my sons myself my mom's everything is up in my house everything anybody creates that they want to display we sprinkle it everywhere and now my husband has his own little craft that, that can be displayed as well which I think is cool and then of course I grabbed Ariel my favorite mermaid and that is going to be a really really cute puzzle in a frame for me because that is like my little my little princess 
Muse that I love so much. So I picked up that one. I have two more puzzles I'll show you. And these are kind of cool because they're the bonus ones. This is a bonus puzzle. So the top one is 100 pieces and then the bottom one is 250 pieces. And they're both Alice in Wonderland themed. So I, I those are going to be really neat. And there's two puzzles in there for $1, which I think is amazing. So that's that one. And here is an ice cream themed one. Perfect for summer to come. The top one is just the ice creams, but the bottom one is the puppies with the ice creams all behind it, which I just think is an adorable picture. Then we also have a farming themed one. Up at the top is like a cartoonish one and the bottom are all the little farm animals oh so sweet I think it's so cute he's and he's having such a fun time doing this I'm just like enjoying watching him having fun with this new hobby that he's picked up then right here are the donuts so cute and silly some of these we will frame some of them we won't we'll just do them for enjoyment this one we might actually frame and put in my son's room because he has kind of like a cityscape in his gaming hangout room upstairs. That one is all of the really, really cool New York symbols and the Statue of Liberty and all kinds of different monumental things throughout the United States of America. I love that so much. And then last but not least, is a carnival theme the top is a horse from the carousel and the bottom is a really really cool little um why am i drawing a blank you know a carnival that's what i meant so the bottom is a really really pretty visually very colorful very bright right up my alley very colorful and gorgeous so I can't wait for him to put those together. Then I went to this, the toy section, and I found this most adorable little girl doll here. And she has, I think she's a keychain or something that you can put on a backpack. And I found an entire wall of these with all different color hair and different colored outfits. And I just thought that they were so be beautiful. My mom and I absolutely love red-headed dolls. We love redheads, period. Like, I just love red hair. I think it's absolutely stunning. And um, so this right here is something that, you know, we would pick up just because of her beautiful red hair. And especially where the green is making the red hair pop even more. Her pretty green eyes. My mother has green eyes. So I grabbed this for her just to have as like a little cute thing. She collects red-headed dolls. So I grabbed her. But they did have a whole wall of these with dolls of every different color, every different color hair. And they were quite beautiful. And I think that they're so cute because they're just these little miniature like backpack attachments. So for a little girl, that would be really, really cute to pick up. Then I found my goddaughter. This little toothbrush set here, and I don't know if anybody's ever heard of him, but I only know him because of her, and this is Blippi, and it's from Brush Buddies, and that's the gentleman right there. I think he originated from YouTube, if I can remember the story correctly. So this is his little toothbrush set. It comes with the toothbrush, a little cup inside, and a toothbrush cover right there. So I had to grab it because it was blippy. And um, I, I, I know that she'd probably just have fun if she didn't just brush her teeth with it. If she used it just as like a plaything to brush her baby's teeth or whatever. I know that she has, you know, a toothbrush of her own. But I had to pick this up for her because, you know, she's just going to be excited that it's blippy. So I picked that up and there was a whole wall of those blippy toothbrushes. So I was kind of like stunned to have, you know, noticed that it was over there. 
Then I got some snacks, but I don't even think I'm going to waste my time really showing you that um, because it's just like repeat stuff. Then right here, I got this puppy play set also for her. And you could put these little puppies in the little crate. They come with a little dog bed, a little dog brush, and a water bowl for them. And then the puppies can play together. Like, that is just really, really cute. For a dollar, it's cute because it's miniature. And all kids are fascinated from my own, like, family and seeing all the kids raised and stuff like that. They just gravitated and so did myself. I loved like miniature things. I just thought that they were interesting. If they were the smaller, the better. My son was obsessed with these little teeny tiny toys called squishies. And so we just like little toys. And I saw that and it just kind of brought nostalgia back. And I thought maybe I'd give this to her to see if she liked playing with the little dogs and the little play set. So I picked that up. But even if you're, you're, you know, picking up accessories and odds and ends for, um, you like your Barbies and things like that, you want them to have a little pet or something. That's just a cute little addition to giving somebody like, you know, a gift pertaining to like Barbies and their little animals and, you know, making the Barbie a veterinarian. And I know that they have all of that stuff like that you can actually buy the Barbie as like a vet and all that stuff. But if you don't want to spend the extra money and you just want to get a regular Barbie for a couple of dollars, I think you can buy a single Barbie for like, I think $6. And then if you go to the Dollar Tree and you pick up a couple of little outfits for a dollar that they have there, you pick up like little pets for them to have. You know, you're going to spend $10 and then you can put together a whole cute little Barbie set. And um, little girls would love it. And right here, I picked up some new Crafters Square options that I found out in the wooded little um, painting LED unfinished wood lights. And they have these beautiful, beautiful crosses with the LED lights inside of them. And all you do is pull the tab on the back and flip the switch. And after you paint this, you will have beautiful light shining right through that beautiful etching on that cross right there. So, so pretty. I picked up more of these things so that when we go on vacation up north, we're gonna have a ton of crafting supplies with us and stuff that we are going to just craft and paint and read and I'm going to do a lot of photography out in nature. I'm going to do a vlog for you guys throughout the week and the things that we do and things that we go to see. And just maybe us just, you know, chilling out and enjoying the quiet and take some vlog of that as well. And I picked up this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful church right here. I love it. It has this little, you know, this little stand piece on it. And so that's going to be really beautiful and therapeutic to sit and, and paint. Also, this cross, this is also with the LED light inside of it. And, you know, you could use these also for decoration pieces when Easter comes back around next year. So this is also the light option in there. And this one says, count your blessings. So that's going to look really, really pretty with the light shining through that area. And this is, um, this is my happy place with a little house shape to it with the LED light inside. So I grabbed that. And then last but not least, I grabbed the thankful, grateful, and blessed in the octagon shape with the light. And that's what I grabbed for that. And then I think I'm going to show you two more things. And then we're going to be done for this Wednesday haul. And then the other stuff is like a couple of odds and ends of repeat items, my laundry stuff. Um, so this was on the smaller end for this Wednesday, but still so many great things for a dollar. This is a coloring book. Richie actually found this for me and he was like, you have to have it. It says mermaids on it. So this is a jumbo coloring and activity book right here. 
and the pictures inside of course are all mermaids and ocean themed and it even has look at the mermaid riding the scooter and then it even has some some word searches and things like that which I really enjoy so I grabbed that because he picked it up for me even though I have so many mermaid coloring books and all that stuff he picked it out for me so I was like I love it and I put it in the cart and so I'll get to it after I you know start really getting into coloring again and when I have more time to do so and then I thought this was really awesome and if you watch my hauls you've seen me purchase a lot of the spot the difference type of puzzle books but I've never seen one that actually has characters to it and this is Spongebob of course and we love Spongebob my son absolutely loved Spongebob growing up he still kind of watches him a little bit now here and there he is a funny 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 character and all of his little friends and the spot the difference puzzles are so much fun and we all enjoy them so I grabbed this to take up north with my other spot the difference I have a whole entire crafting suitcase that I'm bringing up there to I'm, I mean we're gonna be there for seven days so we're gonna have a lot of time to kind of just chill out and recuperate and enjoy some downtime and some quiet and some you know some creativity and just bonding time so that is the spot the difference with spongebob so that's it guys that's it for this wednesday haul i hope everybody is doing really awesome i hope you have had an amazing couple of days everybody's happy healthy whole well blessed loved and doing really fantastic i'm hoping that everybody is going to continue on that for the next couple of days i will see you in saturday's haul i am working i am working 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 so hard we are down so many people at my workplace we really need some people so please say a prayer for me we are trying so hard to get some people to come in to interview and to look into the job if you guys have ever gone to a grocery store and seen a flower a garden like area where there's bouquets and all kinds of arrangements that you can pick up as you're rummaging through there if you've ever stopped at a gas station and you see a, a little stand set up with bouquets inside of it that you can just kind of you know grab and go on the way home from work at uh, cvs walgreens rite aid the stands there that have the bouquets in it i had never thought about it prior to working where I work now, where those bouquets come from or who is putting them together. So when I found this job last year, I had no idea what I was getting into and I absolutely love it. And it is just such a wonderful, wonderful job. And I never thought I was ever gonna be good at anything else other than caring for people, taking care of people and this, transition that I've made into the flower world has just been so much fun and even though it is really really hard work it's very rewarding and fun and I love it so much so I'm just going to be working really hard and then Saturday I will be working but I'm going to come home and I'm going to give you Saturday's Dollar Tree haul so I hope that you all will tune in if you missed my last couple of hauls on Saturday and Monday if you have time, go back and watch those and the review on the Bolero facial wipes from Monday's haul is up as well. So that's it. And I hope that you guys have a beautiful day. Thank you again for everything, every single time that I post a video for commenting, liking, sharing, talking, and interacting with me. Thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate and love all of you for supporting me. I just have fun doing it and I enjoy being here with you. So I appreciate that and I will always appreciate that as we continue forward. Thank you for being a part of my life, a part of my day. And I will see you guys on Saturday. Happy, blessed, beautiful rest of your week, everybody. Bye.